Welcome back everybody to another episode of Video Game Pickups. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, so uh, I sort of decided to only include the games that I got after PAX East until now. So uh, I don't know if you guys want like a separate video where I show the stuff I got at PAX East, even though that was like at least a month ago. But um, yeah, I, I still got a bunch of games uh, between then and now, so um, I also don't even know if people really like watching these. I mean, they get, a, they get a good amount of views, but I don't know if people really like them or people just stumble across them and then they just click off. But anyways, uh, I guess I'll start with the oldest game, which is also the only one I finished out of all of these. I got um, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. And uh, I already had it for the Wii, but I got the 3DS version for two main reasons. Um, first of all, it's on the go, so you can just play it whenever. And second of all, uh, I just wanted to like re-experience the game and uh, just like start fresh instead of like uh, my last. The last time I played through was um, New Game Plus. So I kind of wanted to see what it would be like just going through, like, on a fresh start. But, uh, yeah. So it's a really good game. I beat it three times. Make sure you buy it if you can, if you have, like, the money for it. It's really good. Um, the next game is Infamous 2. Uh, I believe I showed Infamous 1 on a previous pickups video. Like last year, um, but I I didn't finish the first one, but I played a good amount of it and I really liked it, so I got the second one. It was really cheap, it was like $10 or something on Amazon, and it's like sealed brand new, so I mean, that's like a good deal, and I heard it's pretty good, so. The next game is Kingdom Hearts 2. Kind of sounds like the disc is loose, I'm not sure if it actually is. I'll be kind of upset if it is, but um, yeah, I got uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. I finished the first one, like, last week, and uh, you know, I have a bunch of complaints about uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, but uh, it was still really good, and it's definitely good enough for me to play the second one, especially since, like, I've seen some, like, gameplay and stuff, of this one, and it looks much better than the first one, so, yeah. Kind of just looking at the cover for a second being like, what is all this stuff? Um, but yeah, uh, the next game is Residence of Fate, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's a really obscure JRPG, and uh, I don't know like a ton about it. I looked at like, you know, the plot summary, and you know, how the game mechanics work, and you know, I watch some gameplay. That's what I do for like every game I buy. I make sure that, you know, it looks like something I'm gonna like, and this looks like something I'm gonna like. And uh, there's not really much to say about it. It's not from like a series I already know, it's like a standalone game that's pretty obscure. And um, I don't know, look into it if you like JRPGs. Alright, so the next game is uh, Starhawk. Now, when Starhawk first came out, it looked really interesting. I actually played it before it came out. I played like, um, I went to like a video game convention and had like a demo or something before the game even came out. Uh, that was the PC version though. Uh, this is the PS3 version, or at least I think it was the, PS, uh, the PC version I played. I'm gonna look really dumb if there is no PC version, and I'm just thinking of something else. But uh, this looks like what I played. Um, but yeah, it it looked pretty cool, and it was five dollars. And it has like an award thing, like it won an award, and it was five dollars. And I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, but I only have a, I have two more games here. Uh, we have. Sonic Generations for the 3DS. Now, I already have Sonic Generations on the PS3, 
but the 3DS version is actually completely different. Uh, it has like a, a similar like structure, like you play as modern Sonic and classic Sonic and blah blah blah, but all the levels are different. Like this has all different levels and all different uh, boss fights, so it's basically its own game. And uh, I really liked the console version of Sonic Generations, so of course I wanted this one. Uh, I sort of forgot about it at some point until somebody like reminded me about it and then I'm like, oh yeah, I should totally get that, especially since this was also like, I think $10 on Amazon, it was pretty cheap. And the last game that I got, or the last one on this list, which is also the last one I got because I, I like ordered them in the order in which I got them, uh, the PlayStation Vita version of Retro City Rampage DX. So this is like, now this is like really rare, I don't think I'm gonna open this at this point, but um, I haven't played much of Retro City Rampage. I have it on Steam, and um, I really like Vita games, and when there's like an indie game, and they're like, oh we're gonna make a limited edition physical release, like I, I just need to get it, because if I don't get it, it's gonna be a million dollars. This thing's already like 50 or 60 dollars, and like, I paid how much for it? Like 20 or something? So, um, yeah, I'm glad I got this. It's a bit of a collector's item now. Um, same with the PlayStation 4 version, which came out uh, a couple months earlier. And uh, I didn't get that because I don't have a PS4 right now. Um, but yeah, that's... I mean, I'm looking forward to playing this on the PC, but I'm glad I have this, like, really cool, limited collector's edition and whatnot. So, um, yeah, that's... That's all the games I got in the past month or so? Month, month and a half? Um, I did get, like, 20 games or so at PAX East. And, uh, again, I don't know if you guys want me to make, like, a separate video on that. Just, like, make a comment down below or something. Um, also, you probably notice I'm not, like, showing gameplay footage this time because that turned out to be, like, a ton of work. Um, in the last, yeah, in the last pickups video. Like, every game, I, like, took it out and I, like, recorded a bunch of gameplay footage of it. And, like, that's just... I don't have time for that because that makes the video take a really long time to uh, put together, but yeah, that's about it. Um, one last thing, I am planning more videos on this channel other than more pickup videos. So if you're subscribed to this channel, don't worry, there's surely going to be something eventually. Bye!